we're talking about how um, Charlie Sheen's content. Does anybody know why Charlie Sheen's content is blowing up on Twitter? Any gut reaction why it's spreading so virally? Just shout it out. Anybody? Hashtags. Hashtags. Awesome. Good. Anything else? He's crazy. Yes. He's very <laughs> crazy. Um, hashtags. He's crazy. And quotes. Quotes are the most often retweeted content throughout all of Twitter. So while it's crazy and it's kooky, it's silly, but people are spreading it around like crazy. Um, but I loved the fact that they actually took the time to set up the photograph and the frosted flakes and, and all that other fun, fun stuff because of the tiger blood. So be fearless. Don't worry about what your classmates are gonna think. In, I'm gonna give you a quick story. So in 2007, I started blogging and I had a, a little bit of a paradigm shift. There were two shifts in my career. One was September 11th in the city. I had been kind of sleepwalking through my career and all of a sudden I was running through the streets screaming and I was like, okay, time to do something different. Uh, I'm gonna get a flight and go to London and work over there for a little while. And then in 2007, I got to a point where I said, I'm doing all right. I was a director of sales, but I wanted to be the vice president of sales. And the vice president was my good friend and my boss. And I said, well, I can't kick him out of his job. So I'm going to go someplace else and I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I felt that I needed to create my own personal brand, but I didn't know how to really articulate it. Social media was just starting then. And what I did was I said, well, when we go to these conferences as a company, we should have video content talking about our business and then we should put it on the website. And I volunteered. I said, I'll do the video stuff. I'll, I'll be the guy that's going to do all the video stuff, but we need a, a, we need a female. And there was a girl that worked at the organization that was uh, taking acting classes. So she and I went in front of the camera, I wrote the whole script, and we spoke for about two minutes, and we put the content out there. I was just the sales guy. But then all of a sudden, I became Chris Bessie, director of sales, reporting live from ad tech. And we had the camera in front of me, and then all of a sudden, people started paying, paying attention to what I was saying. And it was just because I had the guts to stand up and say, I know that I understand this stuff. I know that I, I do it, and I live it, and I read it every day. But nobody is hearing me. I didn't have a voice. And internally, there wasn't a need for that vice president level. Within six months, I got offered a job at another competitive company, a competing company, as their vice president of sales.